Hello, dear friends. Trust you're all doing well and hanging in there until God performs his word in your lives. Welcome to a new episode of Moments with Pastor Funke. In this episode, I want to share some nuggets with you from one of my favorite Psalms in the Bible, Psalm 23. Trusting it inspires you as it has me for many years. In this lovely Psalm, David began by confessing God as his shepherd. He ought to have known. God had played the role of a good shepherd in his life as he ran from King Saul who sought to kill him out of fear and envy. David knew that had it not been for God who delivered him out of Saul's hands many times, he would have never gotten to be king and fulfill his life's purpose. Psalm 23 is a psalm that is for every season and most appropriate for us in times like this. Okay, so let's do an exegesis of this beautiful psalm and get inspired. David began with the role of God as a provider in Psalm verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, he wrote. This is interesting because he used the word want, not need. Although the word translated want actually means not lack, we understand that needs are more important than wants. If God will ensure you will not want, surely he will take care of your need. This verse comforted me nearly three decades ago as I prayed to God about my husband. I figured if God cared about my wants, surely having the right husband was a need he would meet. He didn't disappoint me. David wrote in verse number two, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. This is God's role as our guide. God is happy to lead us. The question is, are we happy to follow him even when we're not certain of the direction he is leading us? Why don't you trust his leading knowing it, it is towards green pastures and calm, not raging waters. In verse 3, David attested that God has led him. His soul, which was troubled, was restored in righteousness. Now, for those who know the pain of sinful living previously, we can understand David's relief and peace of mind once he was reconciled to God, his father and shepherd. If you haven't done so as well, today is a good day to begin your restoration by turning over your life to Jesus Christ. In verse 4, David understood that without God, he was powerless against those forces of evil. Listen to what he said. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God's abiding presence gave him confidence and removed his fear. God's presence can do the same for us if we will let him. However, in that same verse, David acknowledged that God would sometimes use two powerful instruments to shepherd him. He wrote about God's rod, which was for punishing him when he went wrong, and his staff for guiding him. Friends, we too must be open to God's rod as well as his staff. In verse 5, he wrote and said, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Verse 5 is very instructive because it is right in the presence of David's enemies that God prepared a table for him and anointed his head a kind of ordination into a higher office. Let's call it his promotion. Many of us fear enemies. We even pray that God would take them away. However, God is saying, I want them to witness your promotion and how I decorate you and cause you to increase until you overflow. No wonder our Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray for our enemies. Our lovely psalm ends with a statement of faith in God and a prayer. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Friends, may this be your reality in Jesus' name. Thank you all for joining us. And until next episode, may God bless you real good. I'm Pastor Funke. Bye for now.